That's gotta be your place. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! Is another reason to fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, I'll never understand! You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Okay, we got a boss fight. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to find Harry alive. I feel vaguely bad for him. I mean, Harry wasn't exactly a very strong character in the first Silent Hill. So, sorry Harry. And yeah, they are trying again, the cult is trying again to birth a god with the same person, sort of, since I'm sort of Alessa, reincarnated, kinda. And they also said part of the point was to fill my heart with hatred. I remember how Gillespie, Dahlia Gillespie said something about Alessa being in a nightmare world was like causing all of this hatred and pain to be continuously made by their suffering soul and it was feeding the demon. So I'm guessing that's also part of it. Part of why they want to fill Heather's heart with hatred is to feed the demon. But this time I don't think the demon is growing inside of Heather somehow. I don't think so. So there must be a bit of a different plan, but it still involves me nonetheless. Okay. Here we go. Uh, probably shotgun time. Oh, right, I've already got my shotgun because I've got like no handgun ammo. Right. Check the environment first. Ugh. 
Holy shit. Okay, it's fast. It's fast. Ugh. Why do I have the pistol equipped? Where the hell did it go? I should actually I should heal. Oh. They can block. So I think while it's trying to attack, I need to just dodge it. Stop moving. Oof. What made it stop moving before? Because, like, it wasn't even paying attention to me when I went to try to shoot it. Oof. Oh. Just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. 
I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. actor for that detective is so hilariously bad. I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin the mood. The music's really good. Uh, am I the only one that finds it a bit unbelievable, though, that we could just drive to Silent Hill? I can't imagine Harry would put, you know, get a place super close to Silent Hill, so it's got to be a pretty good drive. And even though this is the quote-unquote normal-ish world, not as bad as the totally corrupted one. This isn't the normal world. There's monsters, and usually everywhere you walk, stuff is just closed. Like, even on the street, there was just like police caution tape. Just blocking both ways. Like, can you can you really just drive all the way there? Anyway, my controller is vibrating, so I think I am very hurt. Yes. Nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Dad's bookshelf. Yeah, I gotta check out everything in this place. I'm really curious. I'll find that woman and make her pay. I promise I will. Oh, I accidentally skipped the second part. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. Oh, that's a good angle. Gotta leave now. Okay, good. You can check the rest of the place. I was worried it might just like start a cutscene. Can't reach anybody, not the police or the church. Nothing to do in the kitchen. I'm not hungry at all. Who could eat something in a situation like this? Obviously, Heather just wants to get the hell out of here, but I'm still going to check the place out. Just the regular TV, nothing different about it. Oh. Dad. Why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. What? Harry, why did you tell Heather you were the strongest man in the world? Harry, you killed a... You killed a demon at the end of the first game by not having any ammo, and then the game just took pity on you. Liar. This is my room. Don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. I'm exhausted, but I don't think I can sleep now. Besides, Douglas should be waiting for me outside. Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the hero's line from this movie. I always liked that line, but now it just seems stupid. 
Ooh. Stun gun. Stun gun battery, stun gun battery. This is my dresser, don't need to change. Okay, I think it's time to go. Um, I do want to look at that stun gun. Oh. High voltage to zap the bad guys. <laughs> it has to touch him though, so it's very short range. My worrywart dad gave this to me, just in case. I wonder how good it is. I've got to test this thing out. Because if it stuns them for a while and I can just whack on them with a katana, that'd be pretty cool. Am I really going to find stun gun ammo just in general, though? Probably not. Which makes me think I shouldn't just use it willy-nilly. But if I don't use it, then I'll never use it. Alright, I think I know the way out. met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding. Like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. You see... That girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. 
she could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. It wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you two? After the god was killed? The girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. It was so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. Head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. Fifty-something years old. I had never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you're finished looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Still trying to imagine the logistics of this. Again, we we drove for I think hours to get here. But not through a normal world. I'm sure I'm gonna go out there and there's probably gonna be monsters, at least eventually, and I'm sure there's gonna be nobody normal out there for the most part, except for a few people. So the detective just drove here, no obstacles. I assume basically no other people, because it's like, you know, this version of the world seems basically deserted. And then, certainly we didn't rent this room, so what? Did he just pick the lock and we're just like, yeah, I guess we're staying here. How does that work? Anyway, um, so Vincent told us a little while ago something, I don't remember the exact words, but something to the effect of, like, your... I hate your hag of a mother or something like that. Talking about Heather's mother. 
I think I forgot that Heather's mother's sort of, kind of, Dahlia Gillespie. Uh, but here's the thing, because uh, the thing is, Alessa, uh, Alessa's mother was Dahlia Gillespie. Heather's sort of Alessa, but also sort of Cheryl. And Cheryl was, well, they didn't really have a parent. Where you could sort of say that Cheryl's parent was Alessa because Alessa manifested Cheryl. So Cheryl was the daughter of Harry and his wife. Don't know what happened to his wife, but they both adopted Cheryl. So, I mean, you know, Harry's not uh, a biological parent to Cheryl, but they adopted Cheryl. And then Alessa made a manifested a baby and gave it to Harry. So is... And, and I'm that kid. Heather is that kid. Heather is the manifested child of Alessa. So does that mean uh, Heather's mother is Dahlia Gillespie or not? I I mean, who the hell can say? It's such a strange situation. But the thing is, Vincent was talking about our mother as if they're alive. But how could they be? They were absolutely killed at the end of the first Silent Hill. I mean, you know, with all these dark arts and, and magic stuff going on, who knows, maybe they were resurrected or something. But they definitely were at one point killed. I'm tired, but it's no time to sleep. I'm gonna head for the hospital. Why am I going to the hospital first? I get why the detective is going to see Leonard because we don't really trust Vincent at all. So being cautious, just going there on their own. But why am I going to the hospital? Oh, look at that shadow of that ceiling fan. Seriously, a really good looking game. No point in turning on the TV, all I could watch is snow, anyway. It's gotta be a coincidence, but still, that's pretty weird. Who could have done this? I'm curious what the town is going to look like. Let's go. What's it going to look like now? Oh, that is so good. That fog is amazing. I'm in love with it, seriously. We haven't seen much of the actual, uh, like the actual particle fog with physicality, like I mentioned at the very beginning of the game. We haven't seen it very much since, I think, since the beginning of the game, really. But now it's not only back, but it's so thick. This is that inn, isn't it? I think this is that same inn that we went to in the original Silent Hill, but this map is, I think, the other way around from how we saw it in the original, I think? Boat launch... It'd be pretty easy to tell if I remember the names of these streets in the original, but I don't. And it looks like we're going to Brookhaven Hospital. That's definitely not the Alcamilla Hospital. I mean, not just not the same name, but it's also at a different place. So the town's changed a bit in 17 years. I still freaking love this. It's so good. Oh, I can't even try these other doors. Let me see if I can confirm if this is the place, the original place. Um. Oh, 
this definitely is. I remember this entrance. There's a little... Huh. Maybe not. It's either not the original place or it's actually been renovated significantly. This is the entrance. There used to be a garage right about here. That's not there anymore. But this looks the same. <laughs> this is so cool, I just love the mood of it. Okay, I guess we'll just go up here and then take a left on uh, Carroll Street? Oh! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Um, I don't need to kill it, right? I could just outrun it. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, something's eating. Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, holy shit. It's on the ground. Uh, take a left. flesh-eating sounds, just ignore them. Yeah, it's actually harder to navigate than in the original Silent Hill. The fog is so thick. Here it is. Oh, something's here. What's here? Oh, uh, oh, okay. We got nurses. Um, fuck that noise. Is that them or it's them? Do I taste them? Do I melee them? Uh, I'm gonna try the katana. These are damn disturbing. Interesting to compare them to the original Silent Hill. They're actually sort of similar in that they look mostly like normal nurses. They're a bit... They are still sort of zombie-like too, just like in the original. Their movements are a bit more erratic though. The original were mostly just zombie-like, but these ones also like wiggle and, and gyrate unnaturally in a really disturbing way. Creepy as hell. I'm also surprised and glad to see that even Silent Hill 3 doesn't have the sexy nurses. Where the hell do the when the hell do the horrible sexy nurses come into the Silent Hill series? I'm glad they're not though.
They're actually surprisingly easy to take out with a katana. Bunch of different types of medicine, but none of it looks useful. Guess I should just leave it all alone. <laughs> Look at this ancient computer. I don't have a yeah. I don't have a map of the hospital. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out more of Brookhaven Hospital.